Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC Review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Euphoria, which if you've never played it before, it's a bit of an action adventure RPG type thing and it's on the NES and well it's it's okay, I've played worse, I've definitely played better though because it's got some annoying little quirks like for example uh, this one isn't its fault, this is my fault, and it's why I'm not showing off any characters, because I hit that accidentally and forgot to write down the password. So, here I am at the start of the game with no way to actually show off any of the other characters, although from what I've like played and seen of them, I can't actually find anything different about them. It's just that they can do certain things, like one can walk on ice, one can swim in water, just things like that really. Uh, the annoying quirks or that I dislike about the game are that to uh, jump on an enemy, you can't just jump on an enemy. Oh no, that would be too simple. You've got to jump on an enemy and hold down to actually attack it. You can pick up certain items like rocks here and throw them off things to kill other enemies, which is okay. And there's a couple weapons in the game that are specific to characters, but this whole jumping on top of an enemy like that is quite annoying. There's also sections like this where the gap is so small that if you don't get your jump just right then you won't actually make it and it can be quite annoying in certain bits especially when there's enemies there that are trying to kill you and you're running low on health so you don't want to risk fighting them so it's just things like that that are poor level design really but it's as I see I've played worse games it's so there's something about it that's kind of compelling and makes you want to go on. It's not exactly the longest game in the world anyway, so you're not really going to be putting up with it for that long. Uh, it's definitely a case of, though, if you've not got many games and you want one that's going to last you or that's decent, then don't bother spending 500 on this. It's only really something I can recommend if you've bought pretty much every game you want on the VC and you're now desperate to just get something else. This uh, is at least something that I can show off. It's like the first boss battle who's actually your friend who has lost his memory. He doesn't remember that he's your friend. So you have to kick seven shades out of him until he remembers that he's your friend. And then you get to control him. Makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So I'll shut up for a bit of the music because the boss music's actually pretty good. And graphically, as you can see, for a NES game, it's not half bad at all. So there we go, that was a bit of the music then, and that was also one of the other annoying quirks that throwing the rock has actually a bit of a delay on it and it's quite annoying to get used to. So there's nothing much left to see, I might as well at least still choose this guy so you can see that there's pretty much nothing different about him. Um, I will say though that there's seven mini bosses in the game and then one real boss and it's uh, just, well, as I say, it's... Uh, RPG action adventure type thing with collecting items like there's an item you have to actually collect before you can start writing down passwords which is quite annoying so there we go then so there we go then that's been the review I hope you found it helpful I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up so thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time this has been Demon212 signing off.